Hello students, good day and welcome to the class today. I hope you're staying safe. We are going to be looking at articles and writing articles. The different types of articles, the features and what it takes. Often at times students misunderstand articles for speech writing and for letter writing and different other types of writing. But the truth is that these writings have their basic differences. I mean, what differentiates them from the other. Okay, for today we'll be looking at what an article means and then the features. We see in several external exams where students are given to write articles that are uh, to be published in national newspapers, in different magazines of their schools and all of that. And so most of the times these articles are not, they are not uh, up to standards. They are not what is expected of them because they lack certain features. Okay, so let's go into articles. What is an article? An article is a piece of writing about a particular subject in a newspaper or magazine. A piece of writing that is centered, that is focused on a particular subject. You are not going to deviate from what you are writing. You are going to talk about the particular thing, telling us the meaning, telling us what, what, uh, what it involves, I mean, about what you are writing. Okay, so for the features of newspaper article, we have number one, title. We have number two, introduction, number three, body, and then number four, conclusion, which is the last stage. Now, if you look at these features, you see that they are closely related to that of speech writing. But we have several dif uh, differences between these two, which we we'll definitely look into as the class progresses. But first, let's explain this, this um, point. Now, number one is title. What is title? The title carries the topic of the discussion in the body of the article. Of course, we know that in any article, in any write-up, you should have a title. You should give us what you're writing. Now, that title at a glance should carry the message of what you're going to be writing. It should tell me what I'm expecting to read inside the article, and therefore, it has to be captivating. You have to make it all encompassing so that I will be interested to read more. Okay, number two, introduction. This part must be interesting and should arouse the interest of the reader to read the entire article. Introduction. What about introduction? Look for something that is that is so so uh, captivating, like I said earlier. Look for maybe a word, or maybe a quote from somebody else, or maybe a little story, or maybe something that you could just put at the introductory stage, so that the writer can easily, you know, be be interested in reading. Then number three, the body. This bears the message of the article. It should be divided into paragraphs, with each paragraph bearing a main idea. The body of the article is where the whole message lies. It is where everything is going to come in full time. We are going to read uh, everything you're, going, you're writing in the body. And at this stage, you should be able to make sure that it is clearly written with different paragraphs. And then each paragraph you're going to be writing should have a main idea it's con it's, uh, uh, going to be talking about. Every paragraph must have a fresh idea it's going to be looking at. Okay, then finally, conclusion. This carries a general summary of the article with reference to the main ideas raised in the body of the article. Here, we have the conclusion, the general uh, summary of everything you've written. Now, I would say that this conclu uh, conclusion, or this part of the article, is very much important. It's as important as the title, the introduction, the body. It is not just to be over, over it's not just to be underestimated. Okay, this conclusion will have to carry all of the things that you've said earlier all the things you've made reference to from the beginning, you look for a way to bring them all together in one point. Then, an example is here before us. Uh, it's just like an article on child abuse. An article on child abuse. Maybe you are asked to write on child abuse as a student writing work for this year, or maybe for whenever you're writing an exam. You're asked to write on child abuse. What am I expected to do? First of all, the examiner is expected, is expected that you should have a title which is here, child abuse. If you are going to write it in small letters, of course you on the line, but capital letters, you don't need that. Okay, so when you write on child abuse, the title there, you start with an introduction. Something that is captivating, like I wrote here, it is no longer news that there are, there are that, okay, sorry, it is no longer news that a lot of children are being abused on a daily basis. Somebody who has never known will say, eh, so it's no longer news. Okay, let, let, let's go on into what, what we have. Most children below the age of 10 encounter different kinds of abuse on a daily basis. Then somebody that is really be like below the age of 10 and start being anxious to know more. Start trying to find out what exactly you are or where you are driving. Then we continue. Before we go on, let's take a look at the meaning of child abuse. Now, I've been able to get the interest of the reader and then I've been able to 
to go into what I'm writing. So from this point, we are now going into the body where I will be explaining the child abuse and then different other um, features before I conclude. Okay, so um, this is where we're going to see it for today. In our next class, we're going to be continuing on the different differences between child abuse, uh, sorry, between the uh, article and the uh, letter writing, article and speech writing and so on and so forth. So we can be able to create a very good different, uh, difference between these two and know what they are. Thank you very much and God bless you.